Hey there, Lab Rat Sketch here. College life can suck. It's Sunday morning, your face is green, and your mouth tastes like corpse. You don't know what you were drinking last night, but you're pretty sure it was alcohol from a plastic bottle, so it might as well have been lead-based paint, because your next hour or so will be spent in the bathroom making walrus noises at the toilet. <laughs> but shit, you have three exams to study for. Whatever will you do? Well, for a lot of students, the answer is pop a smart pill. Cognitive enhancers such as Adderall, Ritalin, and other amphetamines are used to help people with ADHD to focus better and achieve the mental performance of people with normal functioning brains. But what happens when a person with a normal functioning brain takes a smart pill? Let's find out. Once you've taken the pill, the first thing you will notice is crazy determination. A normal brain will be like, hmm, I should write that report. Hmm, better get a pen. Ooh, Flappy Bird. While a brain on amphetamine will be like, there's a pen, there's a paper, I'm writing on it. The second thing you will notice is extreme concentration. You could literally be reading the most boring book for 6 hours straight and stay fully involved. Now you can already see how this is helpful when it comes to studying, because you're just gonna sit there soaking in information about something like how Hitler made the Jews dial up, as they always do. Speaking of World War II, these drugs were made in huge quantities back then for soldiers to use in the battlefield. Just the Nazi troops used more than a hundred million pills, and the soldiers reported how it improved their overall performance, going so far as to saying that the drugs won the battle for them. There really are no better words to explain the feeling of being on amphetamines than being in the zone. You're focused and ready to take on even the most tedious of tasks, and once it passes, you're left wondering, how can something so small be so powerful? Well, here's how. In the prefrontal cortex of our brain, two neurotransmitters work to create what we call attention. Dopamine, which is responsible for motivation and alertness, and noradrenaline, which is responsible for concentration and wakefulness. How neurotransmitters work is that they are pushed out of one neuron into the synapse, where they bind to a receptor of the other neuron and create their specific effect. Then the neurotransmitter is sucked back into the neuron it came out of through a channel in a process called reuptake. What amphetamines like Adderall and Ritalin do is they block the reuptake of dopamine and noradrenaline by using their similar chemical structure, causing them to hang out in the synapse longer. So they basically flood the brain with dopamine and noradrenaline, which causes your brain to go on overdrive. But before you call your ADHD friend to ask for a pill, you should know the risks. First of all, these drugs raise blood pressure and heart rate, so they're bad for anyone with a heart condition. Also, like any other stimulant, amphetamines can cause addiction if not used properly. Also, I should say that the name smart pill is misguiding, because these drugs don't actually make you smarter, they just let you use what you already have to its full potential. So for instance, giving someone who's bad at solving math problems Ritalin won't make him any better at solving the math problem. Long-term abuse, emphasis on the UB, can cause a phenomenon called amphetamine psychosis, which is basically temporary schizophrenia. But I guess that's what growing up is about, making decisions that will make you wonder later in life why your piss is bright pink. Hey doc, my blood pressure is going over the 200th percentile. Okay, don't worry. Nurse, give me some nitroglycerin. Well, sketch, the good news is I'll just give you some beta blocker. Oh, your kidneys failed. Well, anyway, the bad news is that your dick-shaped lung cancer seems to be making some new friends. But I digress. The bottom line is that taking an Adderall pill once will not have any bad side effects. It's struggling with not using it again you should be worried about. Think of it as enabling cheats in a video game. You'll always be struggling not to use them because your brain sees an easier way out. So I can recommend this only to people that know they have a strong character. Some people might say that it's against self-experimentation to not use these drugs, and that we all should pop a pill because it would make the world much more productive. <laughs> and you know me, I'm all about self-experimentation. But let's not forget that life is not about getting shit done. It's about enjoying your brief existence on this planet and making it better for yourself and others. In fact, you can make your life and my life better right now by subscribing and joining the Lab Rats.